Hey guys, Stardock, jungler for Echo Fox, and just doing the AMA here. This one says, hi Dardock, thanks for the AMA. Just wanted to ask how confident are Echo Fox and you at beating the gauntlet and going to Worlds? Uh, overall, I'd say that right now, our confidence level is just of that. We understand that it is gonna be a pretty close gauntlet, I, in my opinion, and the teams that are all going, in my opinion, are pretty similar strength. And uh, overall, I think that anybody can take it. So I do think it is gonna be a momentum-based gauntlet for sure, so. I think we can win. Who's your favorite Echo Fox member and why? That is not the question to answer, for sure. Do you think Rick Fox would ever attempt Star Guardian Urgot cosplay? I hope so, at LCS, one day. Actually, maybe Jared too, but Jared would have to be something else. They couldn't be the same skin. They should be a duo. Maybe they could be Xyrocon. That'd be pretty funny. How do you feel about your relationship with social media, particularly Reddit? In general, I do try to stay, not away from social media, but I do keep a very, I don't want to say professional relationship with Twitter and that kind of stuff, but I do not tweet as often as I did when I was a rookie or when I was, or a few like years back in my career, but for the most part, I do try to keep a healthy distance from the community in general. Should I answer the Phoenix, Johnny, and Alltech one or no? This one says, what are your thoughts on the situation that happened to Phoenix, Alltech, and Adrian? I can give my honest opinion, because I really think it's just normal. Obviously, I can't speak 100% for um, like, you know, every single thing that happened, but there is a certain level of accountability professional players should have to their uh, individual performance. And if a coaching staff or an organization deems their players not at that level, it's totally in their right to upgrade if they see necessary, in my opinion. We don't, I mean, we, Echo Fox didn't create the roster lock. It's just, you know, Smoothie wasn't available all year. Smoothie was available for literally one day. So do you want us to not upgrade a support to, from Feng, who's a, an unproven rookie, to, or to Smoothie, a, an obviously world-class player? I mean, I, I understand the, the sympathy aspect of it, or the, the sympathetic POV of it, but I do also, very much understand the competitive aspect of it from the organization and from the team standpoint of wanting to win and wanting to improve. When it's a situation like that and people are just going to play the emotional card, you really just got to get back to the facts, which is really just, you know, three, three players on a team deemed replaceable, found better options. That's just how sports works, period. Like, that's just how it is. Like, Hoppin says, hey, Darda, good tips to stop tilt. In general, things that help me are just taking a break and like spacing out the time in between games. If I get really frustrated in one solo key game, I'm not too stressed to play another one right after. And I think that is probably the healthiest and most easy way to avoid tilting. Oh. His guy says, how much of a factor was Huni's illness in semis? Um, overall, Huni's sick or illness and him being sick didn't, honestly, in my opinion, affect us that much. How I put it was just that if we were to have any member of our team miss a full week of practice and be expected to show up on the weekend and perform, it would be Huni. So, from my POV, uh, anybody getting some sort of like uh, food poisoning or whatever it was that Huni got sick with, it would be better for us if it was on him. But obviously, him not practicing for a week did hurt us a certain amount, but I don't think it was the determining factor of our loss against TSM for sure. This guy asked, did Riot Report System ever punish you in game? Many times, many times. Who would you consider to be the best pro junglers globally? The LCK junglers Score and Tarzan are both very impressive to me at the moment. I think there's a ton of, globally there's a ton of really impressive junglers, like MLXG is really good in LPL, Karsh is also really good on the same team in LPL, um, also Spirit has been really insane, and then there's a bunch of really good foreign junglers, but I think there's a bunch of really good western junglers as well. Best globally I'd say Score and Tarzan. This guy says, when did you start first start playing League of Legends? I want to say like middle of season one, early season two is when I first started getting like in contact with the game and when I started playing seriously it was more around like season four or season five. Do you generally avoid solo queue? Question mark. Um, for the most part I do not avoid solo queue. I do avoid playing under my own name on the North American ladder for sure. Just in general, I found it to be a way less enjoyable experience when someone knows they're loading into game with a pro. Either they will 
you know, cater their play style around you or have base level of expectations from you. So as a pro, in my in my experience in NA solo queue, you're either expected to carry the game alone or you're gonna get flamed. So I'd rather just play anonymously, carry and get, you know, a, a GG heart or, you know, lose and be able to mute all and not have to worry about it. Uh, thanks for stopping by and asking all the questions, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, I, I, what else am I really? Thanks for supplying the questions for the AMA guys and thanks for the continued support of me and the, the rest of the team and hopefully you guys continue to support us through the gauntlet and uh, hopefully our journey through Worlds.